My name is Diane Schroer. Most of my life, I was known as David Schroer. I was raised in the South Chicago suburbs in the most normal of families. By all accounts, I had a very normal childhood. But there was an odd sense that something in my life was or should be different. What occasionally placed speed bumps in that road was, was just being pulled back to this thought of why I wasn't a girl. And I had enough of a sense that it was not the kind of thing that you asked about or could talk about. And so you just kept it as a secret. As a young man, I joined the Army and went through Army Ranger and Airborne schools. It was hard, and it kept me focused, and I didn't have to think about unexplainable things, like why I wasn't a girl. I joined Special Forces and completed 450 parachute jumps and directed a classified organization with significant responsibilities for the global war on terror and even briefed Vice President Cheney on classified operations. I retired a full colonel in Special Forces. After retiring from the Army, I decided to acknowledge Diane and say goodbye to David. It wasn't an easy choice. It wasn't courage or madness, just something that I needed to do. I think it's a natural human condition to be afraid or concerned about what you don't know and what you don't understand. This isn't something to be afraid of. It's the same as being right-handed or left-handed. Military colleagues, family have all been tremendously supportive. My country, which I served honorably for 25 years, has not been as tolerant or accepting. As a civilian, I applied for a job at the Library of Congress as an international terrorism analyst to advise them on our nation's counterterrorism operations. I was selected as the top pick for the job. When I told them that I would begin work as Diane, the offer was immediately rescinded. The Library of Congress wanted David for the job, not Diane. I was tremendously disappointed. And then that disappointment very quickly turned to a mixture of anger and, and confusion. And anger because I, knew, I still knew that I was the same experienced, qualified person who could do a good job and confusion as to why in the world it would make any difference. I wait for the day the Library of Congress will call and say, we made a mistake and your job is here waiting for you. So I can go in and contribute 25 years of hard-earned experience that I've learned to help this country protect itself, I know I can do a good job helping protect the freedoms that we've all come to know and to enjoy. In the future, I'd like transgendered people not to have to worry about being transgender because discrimination in any form against anyone isn't good for the rest of us. I think everyone in the country should have someone who's transgendered as their next door neighbor. You couldn't hope for a better neighbor. For more information about my case and others, please visit the American Civil Liberties Union website. You can also learn how your story can make a difference.